You are in for an unscripted, uncensored conversation that is likely to be nerdy, potentially controversial, but 100% laughable. This is A Kettle of Fish with your hosts, Robert, Paul, Tyler, and Frank. fucking phone do not disturb cool Ooh. we all uh we all bevved up and yeah welcome to the autism to... podcast everybody <laughs> i'm i'm sure there actually is an autism park podcast probably yeah, that's this one, this one. yeah oh my it. god <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need. Yep. It's right oh. out the gate. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, absolutely. Just fucking. We're gonna. We have autism, we're this gone. Is the place to be. We're gone for like two months. Yeah. <laughs> and come back out the gate. Welcome to the autism podcast. <laughs> oh my god! Damn, we really were gone for a fucking crazy oh, long geez, time. Jeez, man. Yes, it was we almost were. exactly a month. Oh. No, it is crazy because we would all three, four of us play fucking three, four hours of fucking Lethal Company, but not record anything. Well, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Actually, <laughs> right no, it, it yeah. wasn't. All, it Mr. was not all four of us. Hours. Come on. I um not all the time, but there were a few days Robert would get on and he'd be here for uh, a hot minute. I don't think so. No. No. I, well, one time I can count on one hand, one finger that Rob was with us. Robert, for, how many hours have you put in the lethal company more than you an hour after the last time we recorded? I mean, it's it's been 20 21 hours. We've the three of See? us, me, you and yeah. Tyler have been together but and the four of us now. Whatever. All hmm. four of us being together maybe two or three times. Enough. It, it wasn't very long though. No, it wasn't. Not at all. <clears throat> and it was sorry. Uh, it was so haphazard was at best. Listening we to this because shit uh, together. Tyler and I are bevving it up, drinking some drinky drink right. I'm having some strawberry soju. Why are you apologizing for that? I mean, we should be apologizing because there might for be the fact some that it's taken so long for us to get back on the I was air. getting there. I was getting there. But it was mostly for Same. the, uh, you know, for anybody who doesn't want any ASMR and oh just my God. Know, fucking slurping two, and drinking. Two and listeners, we apologize for being on a hiatus. <laughs> It was so I logged into the website for the first time in a month today, and it said that there were I'm seven plays. Pretty today. sure I'm pretty sure if they've listened for this long, it's not going to bother them. Yeah, if they've, they've, they've listened, listened for three to years, far then they're worse fine. from Paul. Yeah. So. There are 14 <clears throat> listens this week. <clears throat> Robert, it's been like three fucking years. Can you believe that? Oh my god! Oh, since we've done this, yeah. Yeah, well, since she, we started, yeah. I think yeah. I've been doing with you guys for a year now. Yeah, but both you and Tyler have been... Well, you did a couple episodes before Tyler, right? And then like Tyler came around. One or two, yeah. yeah we brought, we he, brought he, on Frank for like a guest appearance, and then he stuck around. They were both supposed to be guest <laughs> yeah. appearances. Yeah. yeah, and then they wouldn't go away. It, it was... No, no. <laughs> Somehow y'all suckered me into this. It's like when you invite the homeless guy in for dinner and he sticks around and like fucking claims fucking squatters laws on you and shit and it just won't leave. You know, uh, October will be three years, by the way. Our first episode published in October of 21. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Welcome. Awesome. Welcome, everyone, to uh, the 84th episode. Hopefully we'll get better at this. We have to get better at this, right? <laughs> yeah, this was spur of the moment. Literally my idea. It was literally your idea. Yep. Everybody can thank <laughs> Tyler for this episode. Life. We all yeah. migrated to Discord. You're like, hey, all four of us are here. Uh, 
I know. I was playing the dwarf games. <laughs> Same. Talking I about was random very content. <clears throat> you were content. Yes. All right, well, we got to make this and, a banger. Okay, a two month hiatus. This needs to be a banger episode. Yeah, we do. All right. I, uh, well, so what's the first I, thing we're talking about? I, I kind of want to talk about you're you're the one that you just posted about guy attacking the judge because that's all over the fucking news. Oh, that, that lady crazy, that got man. fucking jumped by that dude. Yeah, the lady as in the judge. Yes. Yeah, the judge lady. <laughs> judge Judy. <laughs> judge Judy. <laughs> no, not Judge Judy. Why did everybody just assume if it's a lady, and it's a judge? It's got to be Judge Judy. Hey, it'd be the pretty funny because TV you know, personality. Well, you know, Judge Judy would deck his ass if that happens. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. probably counter him with an uppercut. I was about, about to say that. Judge Judy would have fucking uppercutted with her yep. mallet, like her gavel, whatever the fuck it is. Like an up B and smash. Just like a charge. Yeah. <laughs> and then it just goes flying through the fucking roof. Have uh so I know Tyler's seen it and I've seen it. Paul, I'm sure you've seen the recording, right? Oh yeah, it's that lady that looks like everybody's crazy cat loving aunt and she's Wait, just like the, the guy. It, it's in oh, the it's in Vegas. What, what it, do you the, mean the, did the, I see it? I'm well, I, the one that I, it. Didn't, I didn't ask if you saw it. I said, I know you saw it. And then I asked Paul if he's oh actually seen God. it. Yeah, because she was like, yeah, based on the severity of blah, 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 blah. I'm just going to have to like, and he's like, bitch, and fucking leaps well, he, over the fucking counter. He starts off by saying, like, I've turned another leaf. Like, I'm doing yeah. things better. I'm. I'm I'm working hard. I'm you know not doing those crimes that I'm here for. And then he goes and commits a felony <laughs> in the court. I just yeah, the bro, way he multiple. fucking WWE leapt over that fucking <laughs> podium, like he just fucking John Cena and fucking like body slammed that bitch against the fucking ground. Mark and then you see one of the bodyguards try to pull him <laughs> off, and then he just starts punching the guy in the back. And I'm like, the fuck are you doing? Does nobody have a taser in this courtroom or let's, pepper spray let's also point out- or a gun? That the guy standing in the jacket that's kind of like getting in some licks on him yeah. seems like he's punching like a two year old. Just yeah, he's yeah, like, stop it, just like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? It was so bad. Don't do that. Also, was, why isn't that guy like in the NFL or something? The way that he was able to just absolutely hurdle that. Where bench. were the police? The, is am I wrong? There's a bailiff, right? There's supposed to be a fucking bailiff in the courtroom. Yeah. Wait, like he, he was getting a Twix from the vending machine. <laughs> I mean, he had to have been because like <laughs> it took way too long for anyone else to read. Yeah, they must not like that bitch. Nobody likes her. Did you like, see the next time he came to court? It was in her courtroom again, and he was like all wrapped up like Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> yeah, they made bro look like a Gotham villain. <laughs> I think the guy who up. was like punching him on the back was actually the stenographer. Because he's on like a computer next to hers. I mean, considering like the at... force of his punches, I absolutely believe it. <laughs> Typewriter punches go. <laughs> <laughs> he God, probably didn't man. even feel those punches like how like, how, what world i mean he would have had to have gotten around his lawyer and come out from around behind the table he was standing at to leap over unless he jumped off that table i i mean the way he bro. took flight it was like somebody put a trampoline <laughs> in front of that bench it was crazy yeah, he got that some is, air. it was impressive he did he's i mean <laughs> He was sure flying. they'll probably bury him under a prison, which they probably should. Um, but man, Jesus, what was what was his crime before that? It Sorry, was a, it before was a lengthy attacking list. a judge, <laughs> it was like aggravated burglary, assault with a deadly weapon. I can't like, imagine. Bro a, really, bro had a ton of charges. Yeah, <laughs> the thing is, though, is like he went, um, he went like seven or eight months. I think I could be bullshitting here, but I think he went like seven or eight months without anything. And his parole officer was like vouching for him. And he, yeah. and he was like, I'm oh, trying to relief. But it's like, as soon as he was presented with any sort of opposition, he like lost he his like, mind. So I was like, oh, yeah, he was bullshitting. Yeah. No, that's man. That's, that's fu- I mean, crazy. In on one side of it too, you got to think like you already hear it coming. It's like, man, you're not getting out of prison. And like prison fucking sucks. So it's just yeah. like, eh. but now he's definitely not getting out of prison. 
<laughs> yeah, that's the way to seal it. Seal it up. Imagine well, if, I also if she wonder. Had sentenced him and he had said like, "I understand. But I, I do hope to prove you wrong in the next couple of years." Yeah, and then he gets and another yeah. fucking she parole here. Like, and, oh damn, you know? Yeah, <laughs> he would have been out in like a year or two on good behavior. <laughs> yeah, had another probably. parole fucking hearing. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, it was it was absolutely weird. And crazy. And it, it just like, what goes through somebody's mind, though, when they do stuff like that? Like when because we all know that taking the route that he did adds time and just puts him in a worse situation. Like Why do we have a lot of people? I mean, I mean I'm, I'm sure we have all been in some what situations well, where we made the wrong decision. But it's impossible. like, <laughs> but it, like, why? Why would you make such a bizarrely bad choice? Why do people do that? Like, some what do you expect the outcome to man. be? Yeah, I think it was not, no, not no thought went into it. I think it was a hair trigger thing. And and mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes that just gets the better of your fucking impulses. Like you just one day you're like fucking just driving along and some dude cuts you off and then you fucking pit maneuver him into a ditch and give him the finger and fly on, you know? People that have I never just... learned to manage their anger, basically. Yeah. I I guess. I don't know. I used to break <laughs> controllers and shit all the time, so I mean I get it. You did? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, yeah I mean that's 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 one of my long standing uh Memories about you was how many controllers you would buy in my lifetime. Back in case I gotta, I gotta get another controller. I probably <laughs> broke. I'm not kidding. At least twenty, probably closer to thirty controllers for sure. Have you ever put a hole in a wall? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Me too. I put my whole foot like... through a wall one time. I got so mad I kicked the wall and my heel just. <laughs> but I have since been to. I've since been to anger management, and I don't. I don't feel the urge yeah. to do that anymore. I've conquered that shit. Yeah. I, I don't, I'm not as reactive as I used to be because I used to destroy shit too. Uh, but now if something pisses me off, I separate myself. Right? So like if I'm playing on the PlayStation and something pisses me off, I just toss the controller over to my left on the couch and like, I'm done. Like I just turn it off and put it away from me. Like, cause I know it's going to piss me off. Oh, okay. Well, as a little follow up to, to, oh boy, hopping the bench. Yeah. He apparently yeah. apologized to the uh, marshal that was handcuffing him. He said, I'm sorry you guys had to see that. <laughs> what a sweet. Wow. No. Oh, that's courtesy that's of NBC funny. News. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I just, I've never been able to understand that. Like, why do you expect to get away from the cops when you run, like, in a high speed chase or whatever? Like, I, I, I it just. You don't want to go to jail, me. man. Jail sucks. Yeah, but so you instantly took what was probably a speeding ticket or some small fine because you're you dead like... You don't want to go... You, listen, yeah. <laughs> you just don't act the fool and they don't. won't find the cocaine. God. Uh, well... <laughs> Speaking as somebody who was legitimately driving intoxicated, not proud of it, but got out of it because it didn't act like a dumbass. Look, man. So, sometimes I've already f- talked about that. Fear is a big like impulse control problem thing. Like the 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 minute you're involved in something like that, the the fear of going to prison and the fear of just losing every single part of your life and that blink is that makes you just fucking want to react and and run True. off or whatever. Because you're literally fighting or flighting for your life at that point. Like, some people just can't do prison, man. That's why there's so many prison suicides. I don't know. Now I want to go look up the numbers, how many suicides are committed in prison. Well, they've added a lot of deterrence. Yeah. (laughs) Well, they allowed that one to happen. So, yeah. 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 Um, Yeah. Quote, unquote, (laughs) happened. Have you you guys seen the list of his... People that were the on Epst- his plane. Epstein papers. <laughs> Fuck it. No, I don't <laughs> care. I don't it's, it's a, it's a we all know name. Hillary Clinton snuck into the prison and hung that dude like with her bare hands. <laughs> her son. <laughs> her son. <laughs> we, we all know that's how it went down. <laughs> She's going all uh, Sam Ma- Fisher master, style. Yeah, with master the, hacker, night vision goggles. Espionage agent Clinton. <laughs> she just went in there and fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Burner. <laughs> Bill's on the fucking uh, uh, saxophone playing her music for her. 
<laughs> just, <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was so funny. It's just like hanging out on the roof and she's dropping down all Mission Impossible style. <laughs> Repelling. And he's just playing the saxophone. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Epstein's in a cell think... just going like, Bill, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus my God. fucking Christ. Uh, All right. Well, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tyler's you know just I'm out just of curious. it. Frank, do you, have yeah. a, do you have anything you wanted to run by us? I feel like Frank is never the... Initiator of topics. No, he's definitely not. <laughs> he's uh, <laughs> what? What's <with> <laughs> oh, I have so many things, but uh, oh no, not really. Um, oh no. Um, I had a topic way, way back in the day. It seems like forever ago since we have last recorded. Um, God, last year. I was in I my was 30s. Last year. Yeah. Like, uh, boo. <laughs> fuck you, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. I was uh, young. Let's see. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, man. I don't know if I want to ask that right now, though. I mean, that's, that's like going to really. Not the heavy one. Yeah, no, man. <laughs> Not, don't, don't be a Debbie Downer no, right out the gate. Do man. that one, man. Oh. Shit. Uh, Oh yeah, no, we did get to talk about that one. Um, so, man, this was like from October. Oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, I yeah. did have one about uh, a man opening and holding a door for a woman is him subconsciously reminding her that all men are in control of a woman's choices. That's good. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that rocks. And the, the, you just and can't the, do anything uh, nice ever the again. Guys, the guys follow up. I, I laughed when I read it. It's like, I dash ahead of a woman and hold the door closed from the other side so they have to fight me for it. This is <laughs> That way she knows she's defeated me fair and square to open her own door. I yeah. died laughing when I saw that. Yeah, but that's it, equality, right it there. Genuinely, <laughs> uh, it genuinely wanted me to bring up that little conversation. So, do you think it's chivalry, or do you think that men are in control of women's choices to open a door for a woman? Anybody that says that is delirious. I know. Anybody, right? yeah. I, I had men. And I women open the door, door for everyone. For me. And when yeah. people hold the door open for me, I go, oh, hey, thank you. That's yeah. really nice. I happened to me this morning at the gym going in and out. Some random dude Men opened it up for women, me. I had children. I hold the door open for everybody, dude. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. To it's, it's just, it's just nice. somebody looking for a reason to be offended. It's, yes. it's a nice thing to do. It's, yeah. <laughs> so okay. I've always seen it as a gesture of courtesy. Yeah. yeah. To hold the right. door open for anyone. But if, let's say... <laughs> Going out on a date, you go out of your way to open a car door, for instance, for your significant other. Uh, oh, that's that, you know, for an example. Door. Okay, that's that's like the example here, I think. Okay. Oh, it's a car um, door. So, like opening the car door for your significant other. <clears throat> I mean, it's still just like, I mean, Aaron's never opened the car door for me, but I definitely right. have for her. It's just kind of a. I, I, mean, I don't I know. Used to do so it, it's like, a, like, well, I just think to me, it's like just kind of like a, and on occasion, you just feel like just being extra nice. It's nice. Right. It's, I have, yeah. a, I have the the silver bullet to this. Okay, mm -hmm. last night, okay. me and Courtney walked to Target. Uh, Target is very close to our house, and it was sundown. Right. Okay. We go into Target. We get our shit. As we're leaving, we're walking down the sidewalk to go home, and. Courtney is on my left, and we're walking parallel to each other, right? Okay. And I see in my peripherals that someone is approaching behind us. I can't see who. I don't want to make it obvious that I'm looking at them. I don't. Mm -hmm. I also don't want to make it obvious that I'm aware that they're there. So I'm looking in my peripherals, and I see that they're walking faster than we are. So very subtly, I pull back a little bit. And what I'm doing is putting myself perfectly in mm -hmm. between this person and her. Right. That right. is the reality of being a man and being in a relationship with a woman. You were always looking at your surroundings to make sure that 
your woman is not going to be in any danger. At least that's mine. That's right. how I operate. That's so, sexist. Whole, well, like, that'll be that'll be the <laughs> argument of the whole. You don't think she can defend herself right, from strange that, people in the street? That would be the, how dare you? <laughs> that would be another <laughs> argument there. I know. But I my mean, point is, I, my point is that operating within that dynamic, mm -hmm. holding open something like the car door. Is just like the much, 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 much less extreme version of that. Like, yeah. That's, well, mean, it's also just a nice thing to do. So here was my take on it. Well, the thought that I had on the issue. My thing is it's presenting myself as vulnerable enough to open the door for her. Like I'm being subservient enough to her to open the door for her. That's a good point. Ooh, okay. So that's a really good point. Well, from it's, my it's showing that I'm willing I only to hold doors open for black people to, you know, oh, let them know oh, that why are you still in charge? Oh God, <laughs> Jesus! I uh, really with that. Yeah, oh, I'm and sorry, <laughs> thank you. Paul. As soon as Paul, as soon as Paul started saying that, I started pouring more soju. I was like, I'm gonna need it <laughs> for whatever's incoming. Oh, oh Jesus, Paul. That is a just good point. went on a right? racist because what tangent. You're doing is an act of service. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I yeah. I think um, if I like Frank's, though. if people wanted to try to make this a ridiculous statement, they can easily make it a ridiculous statement. But other people can easily justify it the other way. Uh, for me, it shows, hey, look, I'm willing to say this is. Me putting myself out there and showing that, hey, I, I want to put you on a pedestal. I want to show that you mean so much more to me than myself. I want to show you that you are my queen, for instance. You know, I, you I am your servant here. Right. I'm going to open yeah. this door for you because you are everything to me. Don't and buy me McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Paul. Come Jesus on. Christ. <laughs> To the golden arches. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I held the door open for you. Take me. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, I think you know it's, it's all about perspective, obviously, but if you're gonna be so negative that you just have to just make it about control just, issues, I think that's ridiculous. You should just that's, accept that's it for this genuine in, genuine thought of good nature and not right. negative. Everybody's I wonder in such a state weird. of paranoia and shit, you know, like yeah. it, it sucks. People suck. I wonder how many people have that thought that that's men subconsciously reminding them that all men are in control and then immediately turn around and go, chivalry is dead. They're yeah. no nice guys. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's a lot of them. They're all beta guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> the one nice guy comes around. Oh, you're just a simp. Yeah, I think I think the only person that would bitch about having a door held open for them is somebody that's just like deeply unhappy. Like, truly, yeah. it's it's got to be that. Like, I can't imagine why because it's not just like that. It's not just having a door held open for you. It's so much, and it's so many people that are just bitching about everything trying to find a reason for this nice thing that was done for them to be somehow fucking callous or malicious and they just they, there's got to be some reason to it it can't just I, be nice i would genuinely love to talk to that person and just to try to understand their perspective that's, on it i just i, I just want to that's know. what we live in but it's you can't just generalize it's, it that much though because there's got to be a it's reason for culture. the culture it's all part of that it's it, <laughs> I mean, you want to look no. for the reason. Fucking. Well, yeah, there's always a troll on the Internet, obviously. There's always yeah. the culture there. Yes. But for individual to say something that deep, you know, to go that far and say, oh, yeah, this this is obviously, you know, control issue. Well, you think it's a control issue. Why? Yeah. You know, well, what, why do like you I said, think it's, it's a control that... issue? That culture is so it's like um, that comedian Tom Segura is like under the fucking microscope now because he said, oh, only poor people have washcloths. And everybody was like, that's racist. Obviously, you're talking about black people. And it's like, what? 
<laughs> yes, because all poor leap? people in the entirety a, of the world are black. That is yes. a turbo yeah. retarded statement, though. That yeah. just like let me know that you, like, you don't bathe sufficiently without telling me. Yeah, it's it, it, <laughs> he. He made some comment. He told a story. It's like he went to a poor friend's house when he was a kid, and his poor friend handed him this tiny towel, and he's like, "What the fuck is that?" I saw that. You know, shit, and dude. it. And he never said black, and everybody's like, oh, that's racist. Tom Segura, cancel Tom Segura, because he's right. being racist. And it's like, first of all, Tom Segura has said way more offensive shit than that. Yeah, and does he's, not he's one of the uncancelable <laughs> yeah, <laughs> comedians, so, in my opinion. But it, that's the culture, though. It's that mentality. There's so many fucking people that live that way, and they get on the fucking internet, and it's like, hear me roar. I fucking, you need to stop this shit because it offends me. It's that offend, offended, cancel culture goddamn bullshit where everybody's a fucking... All right, Paul, you're just as triggered as they are. All right. <laughs> <wrap it up. laughs> are we getting to a everybody. point where uh, cancel culture is just going to get canceled? Like we're just no. fed up with it, and because there's, there's a lot of people, uh, there's a lot of people, especially comedians, who are just kind of like, yeah, whatever. I don't. They can say whatever. Your <clears> opinion <throat> just doesn't fucking matter. What's funny is funny. It's a joke. I don't. Whatever. I don't think it will because as long as you've got a platform like the internet to where people can just post whatever they want on social media without any kind of repercussion, I right. think it's going to continue to happen. It may not be called cancel culture. But it's going to continue to happen. But I think there's a, I guess, I guess counterculture to it. Right. That has kind of come up. Of people enough, just so. going like, I don't fucking care. Uh, I don't, I don't care if it offends you or not. I like, just get over it. Be an adult. Well, it's yeah, just like, that's like a minority of people like it. It's like it's boycotting, right? You know, people try to boycott businesses or products or whatever <laughs> and some people buy into it and some people don't it's the same thing with cancel culture it's just another another thing that people do cancel cultures just unfortunately had more success with that right now yeah people. yeah it's it's <laughs> it's subsiding too though that's that's the point rob's trying to say is like is it going to eventually just fall yeah. off the face of the earth no i don't think so because they're just going to eat their own and cancel each other <laughs> we well oh, I mean, that'd be great i would say we could only hope but i don't Some i don't think it's gonna happen shit. bill maher actually kind of commented on that uh like a month or two ago he just made made that comment that it's, they're just eventually going to cancel each other out like it's just going to be the left eating the left and the right eating the right and and all that's going to be left standing are the well, third party voters speaking of speaking like five of that, people <laughs> yeah. i have another follow-up topic once we're done talking about this okay i don't think we'll ever be done because it comes up in every episode true, so they're okay true yeah. so Left eating the left, right eating the light, or right, uh, talking about eating the light. Oh yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, so, you know, all these fat cats up in Capitol Hill are getting older and older and more and more senile, right? Right. And they're going to die of can, old man disease. Yeah. Can we expect, you know, a fresh Mass start at Congress here pretty of... soon? So maybe we'll start seeing some actual change if people start voting and actually making a difference at the polls this year because well, i feel and, like the, and the next two years people on congress are kind of shit too though well you know it's because the what? older ones are getting to them and pushing them out yeah. of their right representation Who was, if, if you well, notice like the, was, the ones um, that were active on tiktok what was that guy's name on TikTok. I was just going to say Representative Jackson. Representative I don't remember Jackson. his first name, but yeah. it's Jackson from South they, Carolina. He made some strong and bold statements, and then they muscled him out of his uh, his uh, constituency. Yeah, like they basically the, took uh, him away from that his was office. An MMA fighter. And they, yeah, they shouldn't that, be allowed to do that shit. There, there was a senator who was like an MMA fighter, and they had this big fucking. Gathering, whatever. I don't know what the fuck it was, but him and this other guy just fucking going like they just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And he's Mark like, "You want to take Mullen. this outside?" And like he took off his fucking rings and shit. <laughs> right. um, oh, fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's his name? Uh, Bernie Sanders was like, "Will you sit down? You're a senator for God's sake!" Like he's just yeah. Like, <laughs> senator so Mark fucking... Wayne Mullen is his name. Yeah, yeah. Mark Wayne. That guy. Mullen. It's like um, some of these guys are just wild, dude. Like, like, oh, well, he, he, yeah, I think getting back to like 
Frank's point, like that representative yeah, the from with the iPad. Like, South or North representative Jackson, it's just because they're so fresh, like they're the rookies, they don't have the pool in the different mm. committees to get shit done. It's all controlled by these 90 year old fossils. Yeah. There's a, there was a post I that was all that I was kind of funny the great Depression. that, uh, you know, people who are older, you know, eight, 70, 80, 90 year olds are all denied, uh, employment because they're seen to be kind of either not mentally able to do it or just not physically able to do it. But yet they're almost exclusively the ones running the country. It is just like, wow, it kind of puts it in perspective a little bit, but I do think it will get younger fairly soon. Uh, if not out of necessity because they all die off or uh, it'll be because they just get voted in like that. Uh, what's his name? Vivek Ramaswamy. That dude's young. Uh, and he's very, very that's, charismatic that's and very likable. To be honest, what's that? I think Vivek will win. Actually, I, I, I hope he does. Especially when he was like fuck CNN in that. Uh, what, I can't remember what speech or what like rally he was at, but he was commenting on how CNN was handling him and his campaign. Like that's the kind of stuff that people like. Somebody uh, on finally both captured the I essence know, of man. like, wait, why was but, Trump popular? They he vivid captured it, went cool, got it. And I'll take it right, from here. Exactly. I don't know. That that old fucking sleepy dude in office now that's doing cocaine sounds like a rock star. <laughs> 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 so the motherfucker wears shades and smokes crack all day. He's fine. But the, the point, yeah, the point that I was getting to though was, you know, these the older fat cats that have been there and they just pull in the strings, you know, line in their pockets with the lobbyists. And then the new guys that come in trying to actually inspire the change for their voters. And then the, the fat cats say, Nope, not today. So they just shut mm -hmm. them out completely so they can yep. keep funding or keep their funding coming in from the lobbyists. Once these fat I'm cats gonna go, die on my yacht. Yeah, Fuck once you. these <laughs> fat cats go, I'm only hoping that the new blood doesn't succumb oh, man, to the they're, lobbyists. They're never going to die. Not, well, eventually it's they will. some dystopian shit and fucking <laughs> mummies will be running the government. And get some Hector Alizondo Mountain Dew Camachos up there, man. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So, Did you guys hear about that, though? Like... That they they had found cocaine at the White House last year. Yeah, it was all over the and they all over the news. they like closed the investigation. They were like, yeah, we're not. And I'm like, oh come on, that's Biden because they found that it was news. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. That's, <laughs> that's not news. I mean, come on. No, I know. I just thought it was really funny. It, it makes me laugh every time I think about it. It's kind of like the sex scandal with Bill Clinton. It's just yeah. random little funny things that keep happening <laughs> to presidents. Like George Bush honest, blew up the twin towers, really care. and Bill Clinton had an affair, and yeah, I didn't, I didn't really <laughs> care that he got a blowjob in the White House. I was almost kind of like, yeah. good for him. I mean, it sucks. He was yeah. married, that's wrong, and that goes outside of. I mean, you know, JFK that, that, was getting blowjobs in the White House too, but nobody said yeah. anything, so you know, because everybody <laughs> liked JFK. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> they liked him so much they splattered his brains out for everyone. Now, 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 that was the CIA. Sure. It's, it's because everybody liked him that they splattered his brains. Yeah. 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 I thought this uh, was a Fidel yeah. game podcast. Yep. What what you say? I know. Say We've been talking about oh. politics for way too long. I've been trying yeah. to make it funny, but it's so boring. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everybody. That was just a quick question I had. Sorry. I didn't I even just... hear what Tyler said. What did he say? I said I thought this was a video game podcast. <laughs> no, no, it's it at one did, point that. Well, that guys, train was derailed a long time ago. You guys <laughs> asked me for freaking commentary, so I gave you commentary. Yeah. No. I appreciate it. How about Return right. to Moria, but the I game you guys don't want to play? Yeah, yeah. far. Like, no, <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, I, I think it's funny, the least gamer person in this entire group is I the one that's like, like <laughs> right now, I'll have you know. <laughs> oh, that's why he's not active with uh, us being no, politics far. Okay, okay, no, Tyler, what? Tyler, tell us about yeah. 
the game that I tried to tell you guys about way back when. Tell us about it. <laughs> you have to be talking about Lethal Company. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, tell uh, us about Pokemon White 2 and how you're yeah. succeeding in it. Yeah, I'm on the sixth gym right now. It's I, fucking awesome. I know. <laughs> I knew that's what you were fucking playing. <laughs> the game rocks. Oh. Oh, oh. Lethal Company's cool, though. That's, Hell yeah. Awesome. I fucking love it. So yeah. funny. With mods, it's even funnier. I, yeah, you definitely got to have mod, man. Yeah. Kind of Did you guys uh, see they boring. added challenge moons in the newest update? What? what? Yeah, they. it's like randomly generated moons uh, that come in like once a week or something, and it's a challenge Wait, there was a moon patch? thing. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> see? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pay attention. But I think if you use a modded client, it doesn't work right for some reason. I don't know. The challenge. There, there was notes on it. I don't. I don't remember everything. Use yeah. the same random seed for everyone. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, y'all are reading the fucking patch notes. Great, cool. That's quality <laughs> content. Well, you did it. Us. I'm sorry. Fault, I didn't think you'd just go and read it. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to lethal company crackheads. What do you expect? I know it, they're gonna leave me in silence for too long. I'm gonna say something <laughs> racist again. <laughs> That's what I, uh, the next time Paul says something racist, we should just go dead silent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would upset me so oh, much. That'd be great. <laughs> just crickets. Yeah, just total radio. I could silence. even edit in some cricket sounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god That made me so sad <laughs> Oh man awesome. Can't do it Can't do it What other topics do we have So y'all uh, are reading I got so. a, a small one Did any Did any of you guys ever Get Or play Ring Fit Adventure Uh Ring yes Ring Fit Adventure No I How it. is it I want it so bad It, it It's 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 okay. It's not bad. I mean, it definitely is like a way to trick your brain into exercising when you don't want to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like, like actually play. fun. Yeah, it's like I'm playing an RPG. Fuck the fireball, fireball. Why do my shoulders hurt so bad today? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's like you 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 get completely put out of the state of mind of it's a workout. You you're in that mindset of I'm interacting with the game on a different level. Um and it, it's fun. It's, hmm. I mean, that there's a reason it's still 70 fucking dollars. Yeah. Well, it's also was, a Nintendo game, so. It is also a Nintendo be. first party game. I found it like two months ago, it was like 50 at Target, and I missed it. I'm like, fuck, oh, man. nice. It's pretty cool. It's pretty I neat. really want to get that. That's like the next game there's, that I really want to play. It's one of those that like came out and it had, you know, like a peripheral fucking shit and like actually stay stuck around it didn't have like other games trying to use that whereas like uh they had some kind of drawing pad thing come out for the switch at one point and then like a lot of games like third party fucking developers just started just printing fucking games for it and like that thing the fell off face of the earth you can't even find it anymore uh you can actually get ring fit adventure for 54 dollars on amazon robert but wait, wait, why are you trying to undermine me right now? Like, <laughs> is it actually new? It was seventy dollars by some Yeah, I saw it at GameStop. Fucking, it was like sixty, seventy bucks, and I don't know how long ago that was. Don't fucking try to one up me with your bullshit, fucking Ukrainian website crap. All right, <laughs> it's Amazon, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's what so I said. Only one left in stock. Yeah, hmm. yeah, that's it's weird. Neat. I, I do enjoy some of those exercise games, though, on the Switch, like uh, fitness boxing and stuff like that. It's really fun. I might get into that. I don't know. That sounds fun. Yeah, I want to try it. There's, there's really also, it. which I thought was fucking hilarious. I haven't gotten it yet. I want to. It's Fist of the North Star fitness boxing. <laughs> and I'm just like, I can't imagine like being able to like <laughs> line up your boxing <laughs> fitness exercise with blowing people's heads apart. It's got to be amazing. Nice, nice. But I, I'm big. That's like one of my favorite anime. So really, Fist of the North Star. Yeah, I love Fist of the North Star. There was a live action movie with Sean Penn's brother in it. 
It's fucking crazy. Oh, yes. How are roguelites a scam, Paul? What does that mean? I I see them as scammy. <laughs> like, I don't like them. And first of all, I don't like them, so it feels a little biased on one end. Um, I'm not saying that they're all bad. Like, Hades, for instance, had really good, like, artwork and stuff like that. But I feel like if you took out the roguelike elements from Hades and just made it like an adventure game, it would be super fucking short. So it feels like roguelites are intentionally, they're short games, but they are made exponentially larger by the fact that it kills you. You got to start all the way the fuck back over. And half the time, it's not even learning a lesson. It's just like, fuck, well, hopefully the RNG Jesus will fucking save me this time and I'll roll the right <laughs> weapon Jesus. or the fuck, you know, like it's all random chance half the time. And that feels Doesn't like that- shit to play. But doesn't that go back to like the old games we used to play as a kid where yes, if you and that's, died, that's, it would just go back to the beginning? That's what kind of connected my brain to like, oh, it's kind of scammy. Like, for instance, uh, Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest mm-hmm. It's way back. That game, was, they add, that's when they first started adding like grindy elements to games to keep you playing it longer. Because way back then, those games were super short and they wanted people playing their games longer. So they added bullshit to keep you on there for an even longer amount of time. It's, uh, Final Fantasy did it with like making fights super long in their games. Like it, they weren't really hard. They just took forever. So they felt like an ordeal. And then like Castlevania had like, oh, well, you got to go back to the village and ask people questions, and there's a day and night cycle, and fucking, like, if you die, it's going to reset you back to this point. Uh, Ghost and Goblins, that, or whatever the fuck, you know, where if you died, you went all the way back to the beginning, and you only had, you could only get hit twice, and and then you got all the way to the end, beat Satan, and then it was like, oh, haha, you actually have to play through the game a second time, and it's harder now to actually beat it. And it was like, go fuck yourself. And that's what Hades does. Hades, you get all the way to the end of the game, you beat it, yeah. and you have to beat it a fucking again, which is annoying. It pisses me off so much. But, like, some games are now implementing roguelite stuff into their shit to get you to stick around. Like, Ubisoft's been doing it lately. Like, they, Far Cry 6 had three DLC. All three of them were roguelites. And they, they sucked. They were, like, subpar. Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla came out with a roguelike mode. Why? It wasn't necessary. That game was already stupidly long. Why are you making us stick around even longer? The newest God of War Ragnarok update, it's a roguelike. It's just like, hey, come back to God of War. We, we saw you stop playing. Yeah, I stopped oh. playing because I beat the fucking game. We should talk about the... I don't know if you guys saw this, but... The original God of War creator just came out and voiced his opinion that, you know what? I'm actually not very happy with the direction Kratos has been taken. That wasn't my vision for the character. And the fans oh, yeah, are that's just bitch. <laughs> well, I liked it. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm the creator. I made this character, and that's not yeah. what he was for me. But That's not what the character was meant. He was meant to be a bad person. He was meant to be too vengeful evil kind of right it's like well i love the way he went it's like it doesn't matter just listen to what the fucking creator is saying it's a story but to be fair the creator did abandon his creation that's fine Uh, i'm I'm just saying i mean once it's been handed over to someone else he doesn't really have much of a say then he's free to turn it over and he's probably just looking on at the success of the series and goes yeah that's awesome cool for the success but I don't really like that Kratos, you know, turned into a good guy. Well, that's that's not the vision I had for him. Yeah, that's that's fine. I feel that way. I've actually People are bitching at him endlessly. Oh uh, well, I've I've heard they... him describe his uh, how God his his God of War vision ended with Sony because uh, he's also the same guy that created Twisted Metal. It's David Jaffe. Yeah. Um. And Video he, game yeah, genius. It was. It wasn't originally. The way I remember is it wasn't originally his property and they just kind of took it and went in a different direction kind of without him. It it makes me wonder if like 
he had something to do with the fact that God of War 3 did not even feel like an end to it because it left with like a cliffhanger of Kratos' body just being gone. So it's like, oh, there's going to be another one. So it's mm. just like, did he vote for that? Or, you know, because if that was supposed to be the end of it and that was his vision for the end, whose decision was it to leave it off for a sequel? You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I can't always trust what created like fucking hindsight's 2020. So it's like, yeah, I let my series end on a cliffhanger and let some other people take over and yeah, it's doing great. Don't like how it's going now. You know what I mean? Like, I, don't I wonder know. sometimes if that's really like, if we should just expect that out of properties that are super, super popular, yeah. like later on, should we just expect people to just pick up Harry Potter and, and What's, move on f- fucking look at what mark hamill did mark hamill would do that he'd be like oh, yeah the new star wars movies are great oh man i don't like what they did with my character but he's not the like, creator though that's not I know, his but it, character but like george lucas doesn't give a shit george lucas is like i'm still making money mm-hmm. <laughs> like you don't oh, well. care yeah so i don't know man it's it's this weird like wanting to be counter to the to everyone else kind of mentality stuff and i i just don't i don't care yeah and it's like if if jaffe doesn't like how kratos has turned out whatever man he he gave it up so it doesn't matter who cares that's his opinion i'm gonna I'm I just wish the people bed. that read that wouldn't bitch at him. I wish they would go, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And that's know, and I can understand he's <laughs> yeah. the creator of something. Like, yeah. that's all. But instead of, like, going after him, being like, well, actually, I think it's great. And it shows depth. Oh, my God, depth in a character. It's like, not every character needs to be quote-unquote deep. You can write, like, hey, this is a character that I wrote, and he's a bad person. That's the character. He is bad. Yeah. And not, not every bad character has bad. to have redeeming qualities either. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It, that's one thing that's been bothering me about villains in media lately. It's like, oh, there's something redeeming about them. And they're fun. like Last of Us Part Two, where they made you play as the antagonist to see their side of it. It's like, maybe Ellie's the antagonist. Fuck off. Nobody needs yeah. all that. It, like The villain doesn't have to be sad. It's like, sometimes it could just be bad. Why yeah, can't true. it just be yeah. bad and awful? Don't, don't try Fucking to justify Disney has had that problem. Don't justify villainy. Just just let it be a villain. Yeah. It's like the last three Disney movies either haven't had a villain or the villain's been like, oh, woe is me. My father was abusive or like some <laughs> bullshit. Like nobody cares. Just be fucking evil. The evil nah. queen was just fucking jealous and she fucking tried to poison a bitch. Like, that's awesome. Ever, fucking leave did it you alone. you guys ever see it was a <laughs> Korean movie, a Korean trilogy called uh, Sympathy for. I think it was called Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance. You guys know what I'm talking about? No, no, no never I didn't. heard of it. So, one of the movies was basically there was a teacher, a male school teacher, who was abusing the students in the worst way. Okay. And. Basically, one of the parents became like insane from this knowledge that like the teacher was abusing her kid. So like the the parent kidnapped the teacher, took him to a super, super remote place, planned this out for years, kidnapped the teacher that was abusing everybody's students. No, none of the other parents knew. Uh, Brought the teacher to like this remote warehouse, contacted all of the parents, had all of the parents come out, showed all of the parents the footage of what the teacher was doing to their students so that they knew for sure. And then every single parent took turns torturing the teacher with the (laughs) the parent that organized it being the one to kill him in the end. And that's, that sounds like Freddy Krueger's origin story. Almost. Let me finish right before the, the, the parent that orchestrated all of this was to kill the teacher. He asked the teacher, why did you do this to all of our children? And all the parents are behind him. And all the teacher said is, Nobody's perfect. And then he kills him. <laughs> Nobody's nerfing. And that nobody <laughs> writes characters that are just evil anymore. It's yeah, always no. like, well, it's... when I was three, my dad did it to me. The, the teacher just yeah. like, nobody's perfect. Just yeah. epitome of evil. And like that is an incredible movie. That's why I like uh the Joker typically, like when he's written and they try to get sympathy, it's because he's concocting 
an imaginary scenario to gain sympathy from others to get a following, but he's just insane and evil and a terrible person. And, uh, yeah, you don't see stuff like that anymore. You don't, it makes me sad. I miss, I miss villains. (laughs) Is that why we mostly enjoy criminal like documentaries, like catching a killer and people who are just plain evil no reason yeah. they're just they're just evil is that why we it's like, like all that we... sympathy fucking gypsy rose is getting it's like that bitch is evil uh, D- don't let her out of prison i i get like what her mom did to her was fucked up but y'all letting documentaries and a tv show evil. on hulu fucking affect your mind a little too much she she premeditated orchestrated the murder of her mother that's she knowingly yeah. lied to a whole shitload of people. That I don't I mean, care if she's mentally underdeveloped. I doubt it. Uh, but she's manipulative, and I that she's gotten so much support and like sympathy. I'm just like, guys, please stop. This is like <laughs> female equivalent of Charles Manson, and you're like praising the ground she can barely walk on. I don't know if she's the female equivalent of Charles well, Manson. Well, she's close enough. She's getting there. She's going to have a cult when she gets out. Watch. I predict it now. 2025, <laughs> cult, Gypsy Rose cult. It's going gonna, it's gonna to sweep the nation. I, I don't know. But this does kind of like lead us into the topic that you posted in early or mid-December of buy the Did book I? or offer some leniency. Because I, I don't know. Typically, I am like a buy the I book. Like... This is a uh, like oh, wow. you know. Mm-hmm. Do you see that? Yeah. Yes, I see it now. Yeah. Yes. Like it, it typically, I am. You know, like oh, you broke the law. It's very clear cut. You know, there's no yeah. question. You did it. You should pay the price. Yeah. But, I think we should go back to hangings, like public hangings. Like, people style. saw you murder fucking Diane Sigourney in the fucking streets of <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> We're going to hang you this Sunday at 8 a.m. Have fun. But I, I don't feel that way in her case specifically. No? No. You don't think because, premeditated I mean, her was, murder is... It's definitely wrong, right? Uh, oh, it, it yeah, is definitely wrong. Bad. Yes. But <laughs> how, how would... If you were her... Yeah, how much and you torture were, can you withstand before you go, okay, I have to kill this person? I, right. See, there's that sympathy angle. But, I mean, there has to have been another way. I get everybody has, like, a breaking point, but mur- manipulating a mentally unwell person to murder your mother for you, that's that's a bit extreme. Wait, is that what happened? Because, first of all, why don't you get the balls to do it yourself? You know, um, well, wasn't she also like borderline handicapped by all the shit she had going on from her mom? No, well, they supposedly, but she was she could walk like they just she and she knew just not well enough to murder somebody. No, she she was fine because she wasn't even in the wheelchair when she ran off with that dude. Just like she was fine. They got found in another oh. fucking state or some shit like it. I. It, what's weird is in the courtroom case or whatever, they like they tried to claim self defense, and it's like, but she's not even the one like that stabbed the mom. Like, if it was her that had done it instead of manipulating somebody else to do it, you know what I mean? Mm. Then I could kind of see self defense for like, okay, your mom's well, just fucking crazy. But now you're talking and, like, the difference between not doing jail time at all and the amount of jail time mm-hmm. she actually did take or did do, which you know. Because if she did do it herself and proven self defense or whatever, she probably could have got off scot free, right? But instead, it was premeditated. Potentially. And not the route that it did. And all that other, whatever fucking manipulation falls under the law, or I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know, man. That's why I put that in there. Buy the book or offer some leniency based on the thing. Because it's like you think of the same thing. Like murder is wrong, uh, but not if the government tells you to do it. Yeah, you're right. Tyler, yeah, where are you like, on this? You you have uh, a bit of a history or experience in the legal system, right? In yeah, murder. I, mean, I, I interned at <laughs> in the state attorney's office. I helped somebody get exonerated, and I also have a criminology degree. Um, yes. I feel like the only reasonable thing is you have to 
I wouldn't say leniency, but you have to look at everything contextually for sure. Cause like, if right. you look at, um, okay, it's a premeditated murder. So 20 years in prison. Okay. If this is a guy stalking an IHOP waitress, uh, then yeah, he should get the 20 years. But if the premeditation is a, an 11 year old planning for a year to kill his father, who's been abusing him, his brothers, his sisters, and his mom since they were born, uh, should he get the full 20 years? Probably not. Um, so, yeah, I think everything has to be looked at contextually. Like, I guess if you want to call that leniency, I guess. I don't. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, what's funny. It's like that topic wasn't even supposed to be that hardcore. It was literally about customer service. <laughs> when I wrote it. It's like, should you go buy the book for like customer service thing? Like people come in with a sob story or should you be like, yeah, you know, or should you be like, no, I got to follow the rules. Corporate's going to fire me if I don't. You know what I mean? Like. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, everybody has a little wiggle room the higher up you are in management, but right? Should you? I mean, that should, just depends if they're being a bitch or not. Because because sometimes I feel like it's really a pain in the ass when you tell a customer no fifteen times and then they get the manager and then the manager's like, yeah, whatever. Right. Yeah, that's like they wave that's it not, off like it's not nothing. having your back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that. I, I was it made me think of two different situations like one where I was working at a pawn store and uh, <laughs> like we had a system in place on the on the tags where it's like a code to tell you what the lowest price we would take for an object was. And, you know, sometimes I'd, I'd sell something to somebody for barely under the, the sticker price, but definitely nowhere near the lowest we would take. And then my boss would go around and give them the lowest price. And I'm like, Dude, do you just not want money? Like, I had this, and it felt like going against that by the book or like just being kind of whatever to people that you know. And um, and when I worked at the prison, I was very by the book. Like, they fucking hated me there because it's just like I'm not getting fucking wrapped up in any kind of bullshit here. I'm not about to you know fuck up going trying to go to prison myself or anything like that so uh but my clerks the inmate clerks that work with me i still let them use like my coffee machine just because i'm like i know they don't have hot water in the dorm so they can't make fucking coffee not good coffee anywhere and that's technically against the rule you know what i mean like yeah i guess, I guess what tyler was saying about like you got to look at the context of everything is very valid. So, but Frank, yeah, are you I still alive? <laughs> I am. Just uh, not really. Just a interested. Joy. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, because he's our boss, and he can't. Say. <laughs> 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 I was trying to think of any instance where Frank went by and like undermined anything that we so had said. Times. Frank, mm. Frank would fucking all the time. I'd be like, no, ma'am, I can't do that. And she'd go get Frank. And then Frank would be like, yeah, just do it. Because mm. he didn't want to deal with the headache. <laughs> so I don't think many that, times. I don't think that ever happened. Really? I, I think it happened a couple times. <laughs> early. Uh, it was I, early, Frank. I backed you guys up a lot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I remember. Yeah. Oh, man. Right, we I, I remember taking here? the rules out and showing it to customers sometime and being like, look, read that verbatim. <laughs> it, was, it, it was Gino that would often get us back. Yeah, um, all my interactions with Gino were uh, not great. So, <laughs> Yeah. The phone call with his wife. Mm-hmm. <laughs> look... <laughs> I was fucked. <laughs> God. Uh, and then I thought he was the the other dude from the Walmart store fucking bugging me again for the, like the eighth time that day because I couldn't tell the difference between their voices. So I just told him to fuck off on the phone. <sighs> it's terrible. Uh, Absolutely good. fucking terrible. All right. Oh man. All right. Where are we? What are we doing? You guys want to do uh, do another or what's that? What the fuck is nostalgia versus timelessness? What the what what is that? Ah. <clears throat> you know what? Yeah, I'll shift gears. I'll go to that one. So 
I was trying to think thing, of like yeah. the difference between something actually being nostalgic and something being timeless. So, and what I mean by that is I feel like I could have nostalgia for something that none of you could give two shits about, but there are some things that I think are considered timeless, like movies or albums or whatever that are just kind of universally accepted as timeless. I don't know. Even though they're old as fuck. But it's like, is there a difference between the two and what what makes something timeless as opposed to just being nostalgic to somebody? I think it's all nostalgic because it's all very opinionated, right? Like, not everybody likes The Godfather. Not everybody likes I've never seen it. The Beatles, you know, like you could say it's timeless all you want, but that's still like an opinion. So it's still nostalgia, I think. So you're saying there timeless is like the invention of fire or the wheel or air. Well, I think (laughs) I think something's timeless in that you can watch it, know or listen to it or observe it at any given moment. And it's still relevant. I mean, um, it's not like it's a fad or pop culture Mm -hmm. enough to where it wouldn't make sense. But wouldn't um, that still be up to like the fuck opinion? Are you guys talking about? Wow, I'm confused. Tyler really did check out, didn't he? <laughs> I don't know. He, fucking, he started fighting that gym leader, and he just the only thing gone. I can think that's timeless would be like the beauty of a sunset. That's like the only thing because I can yeah, say like, I can't. I don't know, like an old ACDC album would be timeless, and then somebody could be like, "No, nah, I've never listened to ACDC. They suck." Oh, you know? Well, yeah. and that's what I guess it kind of is what makes it timeless. Is that like with you saying that you've never seen The Godfather, you still know about it, you still know that it's an old ass movie that a lot of people hold in high regard. I yeah, mean, I but know the still Queen that. existed, but I'm not British. Yeah, what? It's. <laughs> <laughs> It's very fucking obtuse fucking <laughs> <laughs> comparison, but or you know, timeless. I'm, yeah. I don't know. What yeah, does that even it, mean? It, I, it's kind of it's kind of a a, a loaded question, Rob. But you can't really. Uh, it feels so like based on bias and yeah. opinion. Like you can't necessarily say something's timeless <laughs> unless it. It literally has weight for all of humanity. Like every, everybody's got to be involved in it. That's what I'm saying. Like fire and the wheel and it should be like gas, the indoor plumbing. I'm Just, very nostalgic <laughs> for wheels, man. Let me tell you. I'm very nostalgic for toilets back in 18. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there was just yeah. a straight pipe, and you would get the straight oh, you know sewage what? smell. Hold on, we can yeah. shift yeah. gears. Is BET racist? No, of course it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. It's segregation. <laughs> no, they are purposely saying your content is not good enough to be on any other network, so you have to segregate it to one solitary network. That's that's delusional. That's uh, also not <laughs> the it? case because what I know for I, a fact that there were a, times. A w- what if I made a WET white entertainment TV <laughs> or a C C E T V Chinese are entertainment TV? Eyes, are blue eyes racist because they don't occur naturally on black people? Does that mean they're racist? <laughs> WET <laughs> network. Oh, okay, <laughs> I've seen to... white people. <laughs> How do we go from a, like be a television network to the color oh, of people's yeah. eyes? Oh my god! Look, Come on. I'm just saying, man. Like they chose. To, to make this network specific, and I'm sure white people started the BET channel. Come on. Like, <laughs> you didn't even bother. It's looking definitely that up. the Jewish media. I don't know. Yeah, oh, somebody God. looked that up. Fucking. <laughs> Tell me that oh. Jews started. Because now when we all go silent no. and make him feel very yes. uh, <laughs> alone. Okay. Yeah. No, two black people founded BET Robert Johnson and Sheila Johnson. They were husband and wife. Oh, okay. So there it's super go. racist. And by the way, we do have white entertainment television. It's, it's called CMT. Television. Oh, okay. The country music television is not white. <laughs> Black people enjoy country music. That's, come on. That's also true. Paul, that would be but, the, it's, it would be the equivalent of if there was a new disease that came out that only affected Black people, you would call that disease racist. <laughs> That's not the equivalent. I'm, this is a I, choice. No, this is choosing no. to release specific content have for black people. Okay, very let me give specific you a better example. Let me give like, you a better example. Okay. So 
what if every race in America except black people was given a hundred lollipops? Okay. And then we decided to give black people their own unique lollipop. They get one to our 100, but it's a different flavor. Would you say that that lollipop is racist? That they get Probably. access to a special one and we, get all, so we only you, get access you don't to the agree other 99? That, you don't agree that Black History Month is potentially a problem? No. You don't, uh, Morgan you don't Freeman would disagree. But designating one month well, out of the no, year okay, Robert, to celebrate. If you quote the Morgan Freeman clip from 20 years ago that was taken out of context. <laughs> you're being a fucking giga <laughs> nerd. Was, I'm just saying just, it was 20 years but ago to, and to, it, go, to go to go back to go back to your example of the lollipop. Right. Yes. Uh, so you're saying that everyone except black people gets lollipops and then we made a special one just for them. That's still so not the case for television networks. Is OK. Yeah. When, OK. When is Let me rephrase. Here, hold on. I'll rephrase. OK. okay. So everybody gets the 99 lollipops, okay? Okay, everyone. And everyone, okay? Okay. But, however, for whatever reason, those 99 lollipops taste pretty bad to black people. They just don't taste good to them, genetically. That's I fair. don't know why. They just don't taste good. So, so they make their own. We, so we decide, you know what? We should make one for them that tastes really good for them that they get that we... white people can get, too. They can also go get it. That's, okay. that's a better it's one. It's not like the BET is inaccessible to us. We can watch it all day if we want. This I'm not saying true. it's I inaccessible. Have. I also love what the I'm fact that you're... Im- is why wouldn't they want their shows put everywhere and not just BET? Why, why I'm not... I'm sure they do. All, they like are. TNT, TNA, sure, TV, sure whatever the fucking bullshit. There's all black family not, There are, there are a lot everywhere. of shows that are exclusive to BET's network. There's a lot of shows that are exclusive to lots of channels. That's true. All right, but the other channels aren't saying we're the Chinese entertainment television show. We're only <laughs> playing fucking Chinese. Show. You know what I mean? Like it's it's still segregation <laughs> on um, some level. It so, is black oh segregation by Here's black one. people, Paul's and that, in the weeds that goes now. into <laughs> schools. That goes into various other things. At what level do we stop saying okay, segregation is a bad thing? One approach that I would take to it. So on BET. Would they exclude other races from having programming on their channel? See, that's the other thing. Are there any white shows on BET? No, no, no. You're going to argue this. You have to know for sure. That's why I'm just asking. Would they exclude? If they they exclude other races from their channel, then yeah, they're racist. If they don't exclude other races from their channel, then they're not racist. I think that's the overwhelming factor. I don't even Regardless think of what the Wait, network so if is. If you named. have like the Golden Retriever channel, it's racist to other dog breeds if there's no other dogs yes. on that channel. <laughs> I can, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm just that's actually a really yeah. good point, though. You know. It's really really like point. the dog channel. So or is there going to be like cat owners petitioning that the dog channel is racist? Even though I feel cats like are that, on that's television a, on every other channel. That's an extreme like How? comparison. Really? Because there's not race wars for cats and dogs. <laughs> there's not race what race war? The civil war? What are you Probably. <laughs> dogs weren't enslaved by cats for four hundred years. <laughs> You know, there wasn't fucking separate toilet. Well, I guess there are separate <laughs> toilets for cats. And dogs. They shit in the yard. Whatever. Who cares? Fuck. Oh my god. I do think Tyler's uh, Tyler's example is actually pretty. It's extreme. Pretty spot on. Wow. Oh my god. Okay. I I feel like making the distinction and separation is bad, though. Like it on some level. That is still segregating from everyone else. Like, why can't we all I just be people? Why can't there be a PET, a people entertainment television? I don't view it as any differently than the country music channel. The reason there's a BET is because black Americans have carved out a unique culture for themselves. Yes, do we yeah. agree? R&B, rap music, right? Just like how country music has their own channel. It's literally, yeah. it's not a skin color thing. It's true. It's a culture. It's, a culture thing, it's yeah. called the black entertainment that's okay. Television. It's black so it is a skin color a thing. Because so it's, it's a like a part thing. of the culture. Yeah. It's a culture thing. I, it's not yeah. because of their skin color. It, but it is a skin color thing. It's called the black entertainment television. Okay, but are all of the shows, or is every single show about the color of their skin specifically? Is it called Melanin at 12, Melon 2 at 1 p.m.? <laughs> Probably. It's about Do you no. know? It's about have you culture. been on there to watch? Yes, I have. Yeah. Of that's course some good I shit. have. <laughs> 
you there's not a single channel. show about the skin color. It's about the culture. Specifically, mm. Tyler, Tyler Perry is the oval. Specifically. I kind of like that. But anyways, that's just me. So, again, I mean, if, if you're going to place the argument, the, the biggest thing is you just have to look at if they're portraying other races as, you know, fill-ins or I they just... That, but that wasn't, the, that wasn't the point. The point was the segregation of... But they're of not really segregated the, not the race. Segregated. There's white people in the shows on that channel. Yeah. I'm not... Okay. I get what you're trying to say, Paul, but it's... I, I disagree. All right. That's fine. I was just curious. Cool. All right. What's our next <laughs> topic? <laughs> sitting in silence. Uh, the crickets. <laughs> I love that we're hey, wrapping it up here. That rocks. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, do you, I mean the the one the topic that I wanted to do next is I I feel like it could be really short or it could be really really long. I don't know, it's pull the trigger, D, pull the, the trigger. D, DNR DNI. All right, what well DNR DNI or full code, Paul. You have no idea what those mean, right? No, so I, don't, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. DNRs do not resuscitate. DNIs do not uh, intubate. Full code is do everything you can to save me if I cannot. Uh, live on my own like if I can't breathe don't have a heart uh, heartbeat or anything um, and like quality of life so one thing that I was very much pro uh, before getting into healthcare was uh, do anything and everything you can to sustain life to save life to do whatever you can to keep the person alive regardless of anything um, but I feel like that opinion has changed quite a bit and has brought into question quality of life if this person has been resuscitated or been brought back from the dead kind of deal. Um, and I wanted to ask like you guys' opinion on it. Like for me, if something happens and I need to be resuscitated. If, if my life is dependent upon a machine or if I'm going to be a vegetable or whatever, then I don't want to be resuscitated. I don't want CPR. I don't want DNR or I want to be DNR or DNI. Uh, just because it seems miserable. Like I don't want to have to be conscious of laying in a bed with tubes down my throat and being kept alive by a machine. But some people feel differently. Um, and it's even actually made me kind of question how I feel about like abortion rights and stuff like that. But that's just kind of another another topic altogether. But Rob, why would somebody have DNI on their thing? So like <clears throat> DNR is DNI uh, do not incubate. Do not in intubate. <laughs> So don't incest. Gotcha. I'm only so asking basic, about DNI. I get, I get the reason for DNR. I'm just asking right. about DNI. So DNI is like do everything except intubation, except, uh, you know, providing or making sure that they have a secure airway. Uh, I think it really just comes down to if you are intubated, um, there's a, I don't know if there's just a fear or if it's like a knowledge thing, or I, I really don't know what, why somebody would choose only that and not DNR. I, I guess just that they don't want to be on a ventilator. That, that would make sense now that I think about it. Don't put me in an iron lung. That's a little, a little bit different than an iron lung, but okay. That's like, that DNI is like, don't help at all if I'm fucked up. <laughs> Well, that's Jesus. DNR. DNR is like, don't do CPR, don't do compressions, don't give me meds. If I am having a heart attack so, and it is my time for my body to check out, let it Jesus. check out. I think, yeah, the, the DNI is like, I, if I need, if my lungs need assistance in breathing, then just right. let me go. Because that means that right. my body's saying I'm done. Right. But DNR means like, just kickstart me. And no, if, if I can't no, be kickstarted, uh, then that's it, you know. 
Right. There is no intervention whatsoever <clears throat> with DNR. Right. So at least try to kickstart me because if I get a jolt or something, I just need to be a, you know, kind of kickstarted back in. Maybe that's all it right. takes. I, so I, I, I guess that really is, which... that really makes a lot of sense then. So DN, DNI would be like, okay, you've gotten the kickstart. You need a little bit more help, a little bit more intervention to keep you going, even though you really probably shouldn't if you were left to nature's will. I uh, I don't know which option it is, but I, I don't want to be a vegetable either. Just let me fucking mm-hmm. go. Like, if there's no way I'm never not going to be a vegetable, just fucking kill me. Just right. Fuck, pull, plug. And like, if you think I'll be a vegetable for a short amount of time and I'll recover, all right. But if, if right. I'm forever, ever tomato, fuck it, just, just end it. Just put a pillow <laughs> over my face and fucking be done with it. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, I don't. So that's, I don't want to be one in Metallica. I, I couldn't do that. Um, yeah. Just, yeah, exactly. Just let that, me go. That music video fucked me up for life. Yeah. <laughs> that that okay. terrifies me. Yeah, right. The fuck that shit. It just it's seems like my miserable. imagination's good, but I don't think I could escape for that long before no, I go insane. No. Right. I mean, it's yeah. just I don't know. Every every patient that I see that that comes up and that you know, it was full code or whatever, and they have just all the shit going on around them. Oh, it nah, just makes dude. me really it, think. If if I had my way, I'd fucking pull the plug on every vegetable everywhere. Just fucking put them out of their misery. <clears throat> so wow. stop I wasting will, people's money. I will say this though: um, I had a former uh, employee uh, from Home Depot. He they thought he had a stroke, and uh, he ended up um, having some very rare. Uh, I don't know if it was a virus or something. It, it hit him hard and he couldn't move. He was like paralyzed. And the only thing he ended up being able to move was his right eye. And it was the oh, only way no. he could communicate. Oh. And and they eventually figured it out. And he was able to tell them through moving his eye side to side, answer the questions. Uh, but to me, that was pretty terrifying. But he's he's now recovered. He's, he's able to slowly start his yeah. physical therapy and stuff. So... You know, the flip side of the coin is like, you know, through you can't all really that. tell if you're going to be able to recover. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's like, man, you know, how do you really know? And he was yeah, he right. was intubated and all that stuff. So do you take the chance? Right. Um, right. So sometimes, you know, you, you really don't know. So it's really hard to say, you know, flip side of the coin. Do you take that I chance? Feel, yeah. Uh, and I feel like I will say this. For like, I will say uh, this. If it's Phoebe, <laughs> uh, no. Fuck, you just kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, just, just, <laughs> just you best have somebody get, wheel you up to the roof. Best get that's me under to construction uh, and just roll you off. Get me to Emory quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then if it's Phoebe, I, I'm, I'm, you know, get me out of there. Uh, but uh, fucking, yeah. I feel no like way. there should be an option, like if. You get resuscitated, but your vegetable state, but then there's like either A, a sign that you might recover, or B, there's no signs of recovery. Then it's like, all right, now kill me. So I, it, yeah. I guess it really depends on the situation. Like if the, the doctor is like 100% sure that it's going to be one of those things where it's like, yeah, there's just like no yeah. chance. Yeah, it's just going to be a, a vegetable or... Right. Like, no, I, I, I would want to put it in I feel like families that decide to keep people as vegetables are being like super selfish too. Yeah. They're just like, I want to keep them around because I love them. And it's like, well, some okay, of that also comes from just not being hell. educated though. Cause like, I've had patients that are just a hundred percent brain dead yeah. and they have motion in some aspects. They have like some, some reflex and shit. And it's very deceptive if you don't know. And then I'll do an MRI on them and be like, oh, yeah, you know, his brain is toast, you know. Um, so, I mean, some of that is just either lack of education or lack of wanting to accept uh, inevitability. But, Paul, what I would suggest for you well, and for myself, I guess, would be to have an advanced directive, mm-hmm. which is basically saying like, hey, if there's X percentage of chance that this is going to be good, then. Oh, I've, I, we'll I have it. such a fear of death. I've been updating a will since I was like 19. 
So mm-hmm. nice. Yeah, like because I never know. Like probably I'm would so not hold up in court. I'm just but going nice. to fucking die at any time. <laughs> I have instructions laid out. <laughs> Right, so that's kind of an advanced directive, I guess. Yeah. I'm to but, be uh, burned on a pyre on a cliff seaside. Yeah. Oddly yeah. specific. Yes. Very, do very I, uh, Viking funeral. Do I go into why that made me kind of uh, change opinions, sort of, on abortion? I don't know, man. It's been an hour and 20 minutes. Do you think you have time for that big of a thing? Shit. Should we should we change it? I guess should we? <laughs> we'll, we'll that pocket. controversial we'll, today. You we'll, just want to we'll just pocket. throw an abortion on top of it? <laughs> we'll, we'll table that one for next time. Fucking <laughs> look, man! These dead fetuses. We gotta get around to it. Here's what four <laughs> fucking losers think about abortion. Yeah, yeah. I don't think yeah. really men. cares anyway. Not not even just fucking losers, men. Yeah. yeah. Four I mean, that, that actually gets into. Worse. That gets into yeah. it as well, but yeah. Oh I'm just going to put God. that up as another topic and go from there. I just want to talk about Pokemon, man. I don't give a fuck about yeah, any of this. Pokemon. Man, talk about do you it. think Pokemon get abortions? You... <laughs> I sure do when I hatch a Pokemon that's the wrong nature. <laughs> right just the throw that bitch in the trash. You're like, fuck. Uh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no shiny sorry you, into the blender do you think if you release baby pokemon for a while they get adopted or eaten eaten i make sure of that. i got a girl that follows me around <laughs> oh, oh that's the best <laughs> Wait, before we go what are you guys gonna eat for dinner already uh, i think we're doing spaghetti Ooh. Uh, I'm not eating. I'm feeling I had nice my meal toasty today. from these bevs, by the way. Tyler, that was a really good idea to drink while we record. Yeah, that, yeah, I had uh, almost a whole bottle of soju. I feel sick. That lunch was my <laughs> dinner. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Paul? I had my one meal of the day. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to do, but I am getting hungry. Paul, I, sometimes I, I, I really yeah. do wonder how you get through life and... and <laughs> and, and I'm amazed at the same time because sometimes you'll say things and do things like, man, that's actually a really good idea. Look, and then man, I'm I not think you don't do it hungry. on purpose. Yeah, I, I'm not going to eat when I'm not hungry, for one. Um, right. For two, like, if I end up eating more than like one or even more than two meals a day, like if I'm hungry enough for two meals, I end up feeling really bloated, gassy and all that. I'm just like, man, I hate feeling that way. So I started right. eating like one meal a day and I don't feel that way anymore. And I'm okay. fine. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's like I, I eat in the middle of the day. I'm good. I'm fucking. Everybody's like, what are we doing for dinner? I'm like, I don't know. You better order something. <laughs> Uber intermediate fasting and not even meaning to. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't Paul know. Has a two hour feeding window a day. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even eat that much anymore. You know, like I used to just like devour shit. Uh, have big meals and them hungry I, mans. Yeah, I just don't eat a lot anymore. Like I had a BLT today, and I'm like, I'm good. I like BLT, but I always feel like there's never enough B. Yeah, exactly, Frank. That's what I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me try. What did he post? Uh, I just um, oh. <laughs> I, what I do is I take like uh, two pieces of bacon and chop them in half, and then so like lay it across the bread. So it's fine. That does not mean you have four. It's it just feels two. like it though. Yeah. It feels like four though. It that's, <laughs> that's a proper BLT. That sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it's, it's good. I like it. I do like three tomatoes and like a uh, just oh, a handful of lettuce on there. So it's or all, tomato slices. All, not all three tea, full tomatoes. A few B. <laughs> not not three giant ass tomatoes. Just three tomato slices. <laughs> just whole ass tomato <laughs> with a piece of bread God. on top. <laughs> It's got the leaf and everything on top. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. By the way, um, I, I started Just looking at uh, building a raised garden bed, and uh, I'm going to start growing uh, veggies outside. So I'm happy about that. Fruit nice. fruits and veggies. You do that. Yeah. Cool. Very, very Guys, this has been fun. Uh, yeah. We should do it again sometime. Yeah, <laughs> another we'll three months. Or so like than May. Two months. <laughs> yeah, it'll be it'll, uh, May twenty twenty five. Let's shoot three months this time. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> See you guys in August. <laughs> For the live recording. We'll be playing yeah. Lethal Ooh. Company like every day until then and be like, you know what? We forgot to do something. <laughs> God, we would all hate that game by then. Mm. No. <laughs> I'm surprised we'll we don't already. Or something. <laughs> 40 something hours into that fucking shit. Uh, yeah. So, everybody, this has been uh, episode 84. Be sure to also check out Level Select Games. We have a new episode that's going to be going up as soon as Since I edit it. The first it. two fucking fell apart. <laughs> it's going to be our best episode of uh, Level Select. It's going to be our only episode. The so only complete episode. That's <laughs> not true. Well, it is the only complete. No, Deep Rock uh, is kind of complete. Mostly why complete. Why is Deep Rock not complete? Yeah, Deep Rock yeah. is complete, yeah. yeah. Deep Rock was part of Kettle of Fish. It better be complete. Yeah. Jeez. It did start off without me, though. That's true. Oh so my God. I was like, Frank was like, Cause welcome he was to late. the first episode without... Raw, the creator, <laughs> without the person that organized the whole thing. So again, yeah, it's like he had the presidential inauguration and the presidential elect didn't even fucking show up. Does didn't even come? <laughs> didn't show up to his yeah. own party. Sorry, guys. He's eating checkers. He'll be here. <laughs> so so we, we've got uh, previous President Obama here to step in for a second. Here we go. But He's seriously, like, though, checkers as fries are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of fries, <laughs> fuck, I forgot to tell you guys about oh this god. shit. Oh god. All right. Fuck it. I know we're out of time, but I went to this <laughs> awesome seafood restaurant called Caps down here, and they have truffle fries. Oh, and yeah. it's the yes. best fucking shit I've ever eaten. That's fucking Dude, awesome. good. Yeah, truffle fries, fries with some Parmesan on it. Oh my god. Oh my god. They were so fucking good. <laughs> terrible. Yes. Terrible if, for if you. If you're but ever in like St. Augustine, go to Caps. Do it. Caps. Oh, it's oh, awesome. Caps. It's Caps. expensive. Caps. Yeah. Whew. All right. Do the thing, Sorry. Paul. That's also where I got my sinus infection from. But all right. Anyway, um, <laughs> ball gargle extreme. Uh, nose AIDS. That's where he got the nose AIDS. <laughs> that's where. That's where he got his sinus oh, infection, yeah. y'all. He, 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 he got his infection right there. Yo. So. <laughs> I can't do it if you're only no, making me laugh. Oh my god, do it. You're making my cheeks hurt. I'm crying. You're making me laugh. I can't perform under these conditions. I know. Your favorite voice actors make your cheeks hurt, too. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's such a problem. You want me to do oh it? I'll do it. Hi, everybody. Yay. <laughs> 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 oh, no. <laughs> All right. I already said goodbye. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> been a kettle of fish you can contact the show by emailing a kettle of fish podcast at gmail.com be sure to like and subscribe from anywhere you get your podcasts